Hello there, cherished ones. Um, so we're the second day of the second week of the yoga and tantra teacher training. Um, it's lunchtime. It's been quite busy, tiring morning. Lots of yoga. Um, last night, actually, one of the girls has decided to do a three-day silence. Um, and she's going to shave her head completely on Friday, which is part of a celebration uh, called Beltane. Um, celebrated by the pagans and there's also a full moon so it seems like quite an auspicious time to end one phase of life and begin a new phase it's quite symbolic the shaving of a head I was quite tempted but it doesn't feel quite right for me at the moment um, so as part of our training we've got to do uh, a bit of a presentation so I thought I'd practice um, and I'm do a presentation. We've got to read out of our booklet, and um, I'm going to read out a little piece about Hatha Yoga. So I wanted to share that with you. So according to legend, Goddess Parvati, Goddess Parvati, wife of Lord Shiva, approached her Lord, um, the seed of all knowledge, and asked for guidance to ease the suffering of humanity. And Lord Shiva, in response, revealed to her the greatest of all sciences of the holistic development of man: the science of Hatha Yoga. Um, so traditional Hatha Yoga is a holistic yogic path and it consists of six limbs focusing on attaining spiritual realization. In this scheme, the six limbs are defined as physical postures, which you are probably most familiar with, which is the poses in class, the asana, controlled breathing, pranayama. So I use a lot of these techniques already in my meditation class and you might have done a few in your yoga classes. The withdrawal of senses, praktaya. Pratyahara, which I'm going to learn more about. Concentration techniques, Dharayana, meditation, Dhyana, and spiritual re realization, Samadhi. Um, as it's something that you guys probably know more about, the asana, I'm going to talk a bit about that. So in my booklet, it says, Asana teaches poise, balance, and strength, and a practice to improve the body's physical health, to purify the body's, body's energy systems, and to clear the mind in preparation for meditation. Ultimately, a lot of the uh, yoga practice was to enable people to sit in meditation. Um, purification processes like Shakriya also support this process. Um... And as the practice develops, techniques such as pranayamas, bandhas, which you guys may be aware of, mudras, um, oh, where am I? Ah, I lost my place. Oh, there we are. <laughs> pranayamas, bandhas, mudras are introduced, which start to activate more subtle bodies. And that means more subtle bodies, more subtle energetic bodies um, to help the process of unification, which is what yoga is about. Um, I'm going to read this last little bit because I quite like it. So the practice helps to bring harmony to the body and the mind by balancing opposite energies that exist in our bodies and in nature itself, such as hot and cold, male and female, positive and negative. These polar energies are the actual translations of the meaning of Hatha, Ha being the solar quality and Ta being the lunar quality. It is understood that when we unify these energies, they become balanced inside our being and we're able to attain spiritual prosperity as well as physical and mental well-being oh yeah i'll have some of that <laughs> i do like it can you tell um although it is quite tough i've decided not to have um wheat to see if that affects my energy levels because um although i'm not laboring outside in the sun like some of the people doing some of the building work here i'm finding it quite exhausting so i'm going to see how that affects my energy levels okay hope you're well wishing you so much love Bye.